How's the body? The body's all right. Um, after a long road trip, I'm, I'm just happy to be back home so I can rest, be in my own bed again. Was it more challenging than you would have been? Not really. I mean, all of our hotels are nice and travel is pretty easy. So, I mean, getting, having those games in quick succession like we did was the first time we've had that this season. So I feel like we handled it pretty well. What do you think it's done for your season to come back with two wins out of three? Uh, I feel like it was a confidence boost for us. Um, we should have went 3-0, and but um, you know we lost the game in overtime in the first one. But I feel like that we bounced back after that loss and came out with two pretty good wins. Last night, such an even spread and contributed sort of supporting for us. The main man, how pleasing is that to have such an explosive third quarter and an even spread? Uh, it's nice. Uh, you know, we know Bryce is going. He's going to uh, produce every game. Uh, I feel like outside of him, it's kind of you never know who's going who's going to be the man. And I feel like we had a lot of players step up. Uh, you know, we were able to go deep into the bench, which is also nice. Uh, so take some take some tread off the tires. I'm sure a few NBA draftees looked a little bit nervous when Alex Bar slipped on the logo. I'm sure absolutely nothing nervous. Can you just put it into your words how easy today? No, he's good. Uh, once he got up and like once he realized it was he didn't he wasn't like hurt. It was, you know, it was kind of funny that he fell. So it wasn't we weren't concerned about it at all. Talk to the coach. He's been backing me spoke openly really well about you the other day and the performance was of what he's done to get this team to where it is after the two and a What's the impression about the coach? Oh, you know, our coach is pretty smart. I feel like, um, you know, we have a great game plan that comes along with him and our assistant coaches as well. I feel like we're well prepared for every game that we go into. Uh, you know, he keeps us motivated to play. He's changed your role a little bit throughout the season. What how has that helped you to be the players you are next year? I wouldn't feel like he changed my role, only changed the position that I play. Um, but I feel like he's always put me in a position to be successful, um, you know, finding different ways to utilize what I can bring to the team. And I feel like I'm just starting to, for myself, I'm starting to put it all together. Like saying to other Americans here? Yes. Well, I mean, it's, it's professional, uh, it's, you know, seeing, seeing uh, another American, but it's, it's nice to not be questioned where you're from when you talk to somebody because of my accent. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like we've gone two weeks, um, but Christmas worked out well. Uh, it would have been nice to get the result against Melbourne. Um, pretty tough game, especially um, with their place, but I think we're, we're kind of happy with the last two results and, yeah, certainly good to be back home. How can you take the momentum from those clashes and use that to your advantage? Yeah, I mean, just keep doing what we're doing. It's, it's nothing crazy. Um, I've said it for a while now, we've been practicing really well and putting some good, good hours on the track, so. Just keep doing what we're doing, and it's tough to win on the road in this league. Um, so if we can continue to do that, it, you know, we've only got 10 games left, really. This, this season goes by pretty quick. So if we continue winning on the road, um, it will put us in a pretty good position come finals time, hopefully. Getting to the business end-ish, how much does start to that top two position, and how important every win is from here? Uh, to tell you the truth, I didn't even know we were in second. Um, I don't look at the ladder. It, it's kind of irrelevant somewhat. Um, you don't have any control over it. so you. Take care of all the games as they come, and um, yeah, it doesn't matter what other teams do. Um, obviously, there's some friendly fire towards the end of the season, but it's kind of irrelevant to what we do and, and how we go about it. Yeah, I mean, there's there's so many, I guess, mini seasons within this season. Um, you know, we have a little four-game road trip, uh, four, uh, yeah, game road trip now, kind of. Um, then there's other little pockets where you're at home or different opposition. So it's it's constant state of adjustment, especially with injuries and matchups and, and what have you. So um, yeah, he's been great. Um, he's fitting well. I think he's, he's found his feet more so than, than last year. So what do you think John's biggest strength has been in the ability to turn turn things mid-season and get things to work for? Him? Well, I think he's got a good pulse on where guys are at. Um, you know, he's a player and he was a very successful player. Um, so he knows what it's like. You know, he knows what, what happens and the, the mental side of things and the physical side as well. So he's got a good pulse on, on where individuals are at and where the group is at. And, and from that he can read it and um, just giving guys the, the confidence to go out there and, and do their role. Um, you know, you see Bryce is playing phenomenal basketball, Dude's playing phenomenal basketball and there's 
I could go through the whole squad. Um, guys are just doing what they do, and, and JR gives you the confidence to do that. What's it like seeing people who are responsible for you guys being on the road for three weeks? <laughs> oh, I think the tournament only goes for like five <laughs> days, so it's, I don't think they're responsible. But um, no, I love tennis. Hopefully, uh, yeah, go out and see a match. And um, yeah, I feel like at this time of year, me and the missus always go down and have a hit. It's just, uh, it's like the summer of tennis, so I love it, and I'll certainly be watching it on TV.